again. So Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Having the knowledge to create an array is a skill that is valued in every programming language and SQL is no exception, especially when you're talking about BigQuery. And in addition to that, using that array to create a table is also very important because that gives you the power to use that array in multiple SQL queries. So today we're going to see how exactly we can do that in BigQuery and also learn about a function which is exclusive to BigQuery environment, which is called unnest, which we will be using to create a table from an array. So without wasting any time, let's just quickly jump into it. So to start with, this is how you create an array in SQL. You initiate your array with a square bracket, similar to every other programming language. And within that, you can enter your value. So I'm going to enter a couple of values here. And this is an array that I've created. Now, by in itself, it does not hold any relevance because we need to write some kind of query to make use of this array. So if I write select this array, this will give me a simple output with all these values placed inside a column in row values. I can also assign a column name and run it again and it will assign that column name accordingly. Now, what if you want to create an array of integers with 1000 row values? I mean to say from value 1 till 1000, right? You would obviously not type it manually like I typed this array value, right? So BigQuery gives us a function known as generate array, okay? And the parameters that it takes is the starting point of your array, the end point of your array, and by how many steps you want to increment it. So I want to increment by one. That means first value will be one, second value will be two, third value will be three, and so on and so forth, right? Then I would write one. In case I wanted to increment by two, then I can write two. So first value will be one, second value will be three, third value will be five, and so on and so forth. Now, if I run this, it will create a column called int array, and it will have 1000 records in it. As of now, this is just an array. It is not a table yet. I will not be able to run specific SQL operations on this particular column without converting it into a table. So how do we convert this into a table? To convert this, we use a function called unnest. So the way you use it is, I'll just write select star from, okay? And this is our basic SQL syntax that we use. And alongside this generate array, I'm gonna write a nest and open up a bracket. And when I run this, this will consider this entire piece as a single table. Now I can write my conditions here like a normal table where int array is less than 500, let's say, okay? And I run this. So it will give me value till 499 as you can see here, okay? Also, now I can insert this entire thing inside a subquery, right? Like this and write select int array and then a new column, which will be a multiple of int array and I'm going to multiply it by three and I'm going to name it as, let's say new int array and then write from this entire thing. Okay. And then we can run this. This will give me two columns. One would be int array, second one would be the new int array that we created. I can invoke one more function within BigQuery, which is known as struct to create a two dimensional table. Right now, the table that we created had only one column, but now we can create a two dimensional table with using the struct keyword. So I'm going to say select star from unnest, then you open up a bracket. And within a bracket, because unnest accepts only array values, I'm going to insert a square bracket here. And within the square brackets, I'm going to write a function called struct, which accepts a key value pair, which means I need to mention a value first. So I'm going to say a as name. So name would be my column name and 20 as age. 
Now this would be my second column, which is age. Okay, and these are the values that I'm going to assign to each column, 20 and A. Okay, and now I'm going to add one more row item. To add another row item, you don't need to mention this age and name again. All you have to do is just insert a comma here and open up a bracket and again write B and then comma 34, right? And if I run this, this will give me an output like you see here. I have two columns, name and age, and both of them have two row items representing the values that are assigned to each column here. So with this, I hope you understood how we can create a basic array within SQL and then use that array to create a new table using the unless function and a combination of unless and struct. Now feel free to play around and see what else you are able to achieve with these three concepts. So that's it. If you think you have learned something new today, then please consider subscribing to the channel. That will really help me out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.